A pleasant day to all. I am Jerome and for today's video, we will be talking about success. How to achieve success. Do you want to be successful? Do you know what leads one person to achieve success over another? How do you define success? In other words, what is success? The richest man in China, a multi-billionaire Jack Ma, the owner of Alibaba Group, shared a quote about success and said, If you don't give up, you still have a chance. Almost everybody can be successful if you really try hard. After college, Jack Ma applied for 30 jobs in his home city in China. However, he was rejected from everyone. And Jack Ma says, The continued rejection was painful, but it prepared him for his future. He didn't give up. According to Bo Sanchez, a best-selling author, entrepreneur, lay preacher, and life coach, never focus on your problems. Focus on possibilities. The problems will pull you down. The possibilities will push you up. World boxing champ Manny Pacquiao said, Life is meant to be a challenge because challenges will make you grow. There are several authors who tried to define success. And one said, success is the power to acquire whatever demands of life without violating the right of others. And for me, my definition of success is this. Success is the achievement of one's goal and the privilege of contributing to the betterment of others. See, talking about success, it is a relative term. It means different things to different people. Most people consider success as having a great career, wealth, and respect from others. When people think of success, a lot of them automatically conjure images of plenty of money, a fat bank account, a big house, or a new model of car. Well, there, these are just some aspects of success. But what do all these definitions have in common? They include feelings. These feelings include happiness, joy, love, peace of mind, self-respect, greatness, and freedom from worry, anxiety, fear, and failure. But total success is much more. Don't overlook goals that will support a happier life. With this, some people also consider success as having a good family life a happy home, a feeling of contentment, or a comfortable life, or to be always in love. Prioritizing relationship, physical health, safety, contributing good to others, and creative expression to improve the feelings of happiness. However, don't confuse the feeling of happiness with success. You could be quite happy just by doing something like playing or while you watch television or movies. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, happiness is not a goal. It is a byproduct of a life well lived. Success is within reach if you are willing to put in the work. But in order to do the right work, you must first learn how to achieve success with the following tips. S stands for select your goal. 
The reason most people don't succeed is simply that they really don't know what they want in life. We have to know where we are going. Success is a progressive realization of a predetermined and worthwhile goal. U stands for unlock your imprisoned potential. I believe that you are capable of living to your full potential. However, most people don't tap even a small percentage of that potential that they have. They take themselves and their knowledge for granted, thinking that they can't increase it or grow anymore. So find a model somebody who is doing better job than you are. Spend your time with people who will stretch and mentor you. Find somebody who think uh, faster, runs faster, and aims higher. Those are people who will lift you up. Nothing can be more challenging than to be the person whom others look up to. Then C stands for Commit yourself to God's plan. A way to know that you are following God's plan for your life is by being in prayer. Take time each day to devote yourself to the Lord and the plans He has for your life. If you are giving its area of your life to God, then He will bless it and be able to work through it abundantly. Here are my favorite verses. I'm going to share it to you. First is from Proverbs 16.3, which says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. In Jeremiah 29.11, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So these biblical verses will really help you to commit yourself to God's plan. And we have also C, another C, which says, start your course this has to do with planning and accordingly it's better to look ahead and prepare than to look back and regret a good captain thinks at least a mile ahead and then e stands for expect problems we have to make an extra burst of effort to get through difficulties and challenges that keep us from being what God wants us to become. Paul Harvey said, you can always tell when you are on the road to success. It's uphill all the way. And if you find a path that has no problem, you will find that it leads nowhere. S stands for stand firm on your commitment. Napoleon Hill, in his book, Think and Grow Rich, records that he studied 500 of the wealthiest men in the world and concluded that all wealthy men are persistent. Never, never give up. Don't be a quitter. And another S stands for surrender everything to God. Surrendering to God means letting God have His way in every aspect of our lives, allowing Him to guide our steps and direct our decisions. As Christians, this means we surrender our will for His perfect will and follow God. It's so important to make sure that our plans are in line with God's plan for us. In Matthew 6, 
verse 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you so those are the acronym success let's review s stands for select your goal you unlock your imprisoned potential c commit yourself to god's plan another c chart your course e expect problems s stand firm on your commitment and s surrender everything to god being successful means not just being able to achieve fulfillment or excellence in our goals but also having the kind of good feelings uh, just as mentioned above our generation has made success so synonymous with something material or tangible that we seem to have forgotten one thing the very root of success is the positive feelings that come with accomplishment and achievement success is predictable there are certain specific ways and means to become successful in the same manner failure is also predictable there are habits and attitudes that lead to success such as wise management of resources setting priorities and positive outlook in life on the other hand Habits like procrastination, pessimism, and too much confinement with the unpleasant past can attribute to failure. Now, you can have big dreams, great goals, and still fail. Why? The K of success requires you to turn your goals into actions. Repeated actions in the right direction become helpful habits and once you form the right habits you create momentum which will lead you to success creating systems for your life as you are forming good habits can help you to stay on track you can build systems by grouping good habits together having a system in place can keep track of doing all your goal-oriented tasks one by one every day let's try to create those success habits and attitudes our attitudes will lead us to our destiny choose your destiny create your destiny by creating good positive and success habits let us also ponder that true success includes making a difference in the world. The most powerful difference you can make is the difference you make in the life of others. So, you know already how to become successful. Begin your journey. Thank you and God bless everyone.